What's up guys? Welcome to this new tutorial. Like I promised in my last video, is this a new LumaFusion transition tutorial? Give this video a thumb up if you like to see more LumaFusion transitions in future and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and activate the bell to don't miss any videos in future. This tutorial is about, uh, I would call it teleportation transition. which is a nice and easy transition to skip through totally different clips, like from one place to another, for example. And it's, as I said, easy. And I will show you also how you can save it as a preset. If you're a bit lazy, it will be also in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. So link is up there or down in the description. Go and check it out if you haven't already. It's a pack full of LumaFusion transition. It contains all of my transitions, LUTs, sound effects, FX, text boxes, intros, and so on and so on. So go and check it out. And But now we are jumping into LumaFusion. We are in LumaFusion now and we have a project with two totally different clips in it. The one shows a snowy mountain area and the other one a nice waterfall with green forests. And we want to create a nice transition between those totally different landscapes. We are starting by cutting our transition areas. Both of those will be 10 frames long. So we go to the end of the first clip and swipe over 10 frames. We are double tapping to edit and we are going to color and FX. The first step is to add the light tunnel effect. This one over here. And we are creating a keyframe at the first frame and one at the last frame. At the first frame we are setting the radius to 0 0.66 and at the last frame the radius has to be 0. The next effect we have to add is the small pinch. Therefore also add a keyframe at the first frame and one at the eighth frame, so this one. At the first frame let's scale at 0 0.23 and at the 8th frame, set scale to 1, oh, so about 1. So what this does is we are getting, oops, we are getting a kind of vertigo effect. And now to in order to make it more smooth, we are adding motion 20. Setting a keyframe at the first frame and one at the last frame again. Jumping back to the first frame and we are setting radius to zero. And that's it for the first transition area. Let's jump back to our timeline and let's have a look. Let's play it back. So what it does, it creates kind of time warp or black hole effect. Let's create our second transition area, like the first one. It also has to be 10 frames long. And double tap to edit. And again, we are in color and FX. And we are adding the whole effect. This one. Set a keyframe at the first frame and one at the last frame. Set the radius to about 0 0.7 at the first frame and 0 at the last frame. Now at a second effect, and this one will be the twist effect, this one. Again, like before, keyframe at the first frame and keyframe at the last frame. At the first frame, set radius to 1.4 and the angle to 
720 degrees like this and at the last frame set radius to zero and angle also to zero like this this is how it looks and the last step is to add also motion 20 to make it look more smooth again keyframe at the first frame and one keyframe at the last frame the last frame set the radius to zero the first frame it has to be 20 and now let's have a look looks like this pretty cool isn't it the last thing we have to do is to save it as a preset there for double tap to edit and click on the star with a plus and let's give it a name call it teleportation teleportation one because it's the first uh, transition area again tap on the star with the plus and now it's saved let's jump back to our second transition area and we're doing the same calling it teleportation 2 because it's the second transition area and that's it now you can find this transition in your presets teleportation 1 and teleportation 2 and you can easily apply them to other clips like this for example if this is a new clip we can just simply add teleportation 1 and it has all the effects we've edited and it works pretty fine. This was the tutorial. I hope you like it. Give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other in the next video. Till then, bye.